we have made significant upgrades to our website. Chadwick's account holders can now manage their account online. Customers can view and download invoices, make payments against invoices, view and download proof of deliveries, request a credit limit change, order products at agreed account prices, and raise queries on their accounts. The website is accessible via mobile, tablet, laptop, or desktop. Let's jump right in and check out the new features. Firstly, we need to get logged in. If you have a login from your branch, go straight to chadwicks.ie and log in through the sign in register button. Your username will normally be your Chadwick's account number, followed by hyphen one if you are the primary user. You can find your account number on any of your statements or invoices from Chadwick's or by contacting your branch. If you are unsure of your online account details or have not logged in before, click on the register tab and request account activation and put in your details. If you already have an online account, you will be sent a password reminder or if you've never logged in, you will get an account activation email within 24 hours. Alternatively, you can use the online help function or contact your local branch who can help you to get logged in. Once logged in, you will see the My Account dashboard. From here, you can see your account information screen. Your previous orders, both online and offline, your account balance, and it's the place where you can make payments, view PODs, statements, and query an invoice, or request a credit limit review. The company administrator can add new users and select the roles and permissions of the new users. You may wish for your foreman to have the access role of a buyer, which would allow them to place orders but not have access to account information. You may want your accountant to have access to invoices and make payments, but not be able to place orders. This is all manageable from the website. Here you can see you're setting up a new buyer. Once set up, the buyer will be able to place orders but not see any of the account information, such as how much is owed and invoices. Balance and payments at a snapshot will give you an idea of where your account stands. Your balance at that exact time, any amount that is overdue and any amount that is due in the current month. The transaction screen will show all invoices in blue and all credit notes in yellow. You can search for a particular transaction using the transaction ID. You can also make full or partial payments on invoices. Here you can see us making a payment with the standard payment facility. You will receive an email notification with the details of the payment after the transaction has been completed. One little heads up here. You cannot purchase products and pay an invoice in the same cart. You will need to complete your invoice payment first and then add the products to your cart. In this screen, you can also query an invoice or charge. This will send a notification to your branch and they will follow up with you on the transaction. You can see all your past transactions on this screen. The transaction screens will detail all transactions, whether they were made in store, over the phone with a rep, or if they were made online. You can search through transactions via the date feature. For example, you can look at all transactions from July 23 or by searching the job reference. This can be helpful if you reference all particular jobs by the location name, i.e. Rahimi. You can also download all transactions into an Excel file. This can be handy if you prefer managing your accounts through Excel or if your account management software has an Excel upload feature. The POD proof of delivery functionality is very handy, particularly if you are the account owner and you are not present on all job sites. Here you can see us going to the POD history screen, selecting a POD and seeing who has signed the document. In this particular instance, we can see that it was James Riley who signed for this delivery. Statements, as you know, are broken down by month. You can review each monthly statement here in the statement screen. You can also download them at any time. Sometimes credit customers will wish to increase or decrease their credit limit. You can now submit an application online to request a review of your credit limit. 
simply state why you may need an increase or decrease and attach any documentation you feel may be helpful, such as a work in progress form or mortgage approval. The submission will go through to your branch and your branch or rep will be in contact in the near future. As credit account holders, you may have agreed pricing on certain items or categories. Once you log into your online account, you can see all your agreed pricing and order products at those prices. We offer the exact same pricing and terms online. Ordering online can be a real time saver and we have the same delivery turnaround times. This means you can keep your team on site without having to drive to the stores for collections or make endless phone calls. We hope that you enjoyed this video summary. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact your local credit controller or rep.